Hello and welcome to BCC Virtual Racing and tonight the Beaconsfield Crick Club hosting the race around the Volcano Circuit CCW. This race 21.3 kilometres long, fairly flat, only 111 metres of climbing in total over four laps of 4.1 kilometres long each. And before someone says, I can't add up, there's a quite a long lead in in this occasion of 3.4 kilometres. No camera working tonight, unfortunately. I broke the USB cable, but I'll get that working for uh, next Monday. Last time I looked, 25 riders from BCC in total, including uh, Lance here, moved up to Cate. I'm sure temporary, but nonetheless, he's got to contend with the other Cate riders. 13 riders in Cat B, 8 in Cat C, and 3 in Cat D, including a return from Rob Jones. 17 seconds to go. It's all... Interesting in the overall competitions this evening, with no great surprise, Davis managing to engineer a first place for him so far. But let's watch the start of this race now. Two seconds to go, and we're off. All riders starting together. There's a Slipper already. I'm not sure, is he in front or behind there? Um, all riders starting together in one group although they start from separate pens. And I can only get, at the moment, I was going to say I can only get to Cat D, but there's Empson, Slipper, Empson in Category B, Lancey, I think I just saw there, there he is. So Lancey should be right out the front of this field. And he's not far off it, 10th uh, place out of a total of 130 riders. So he's going quite nicely. Let's hope he can hold that position. Of course, his nemesis Davis will be right on his heel for much of this race, as probably will Chris Brackey. And we could yet see a, a, the sort of performance I would expect from uh, Darren Charles. Katie Jury, first woman uh, in the field, right up the front with the mix as usual. And although I think about fifth place overall in the GC uh, she is first woman um, and is doing exceptionally well right let's have a look now I'll just leave it at the front of the field for a couple of minutes while the riders oh Empson in first place now that is something that surprised me absolutely no chance he's going to stay there for a full 21 kilometers not at this pace um, but nice to see, nonetheless. Uh, there's a Wickham rider just tucked in behind. Who else do we have? Jack Darren Charles, Oliver White up there in the front, along with Ware, Martin Wales, all in this front group. And looking back, you can see, you can see it's a very large group of probably 50 riders at the moment. Schoolar in the mix as well. Davis in there, of course. Nixon Cat C just beginning to drop off. The, well, drop off is not really the right word, but just uh, losing touch with that Cat B group. No great surprise there, but he is holding five, 5.1 watts per kilo. So he's trying to get back on up out of the saddle. And there he goes on his Tron bike. So that's a good little recovery from him. I like that move. Uh, as long as he doesn't go shooting off out the front. And he does. He goes into second place. So... Maybe a little bit too much power, but who is that? That It's Bracky out the front going for one of his attacks early on by the looks of it. If I can get to him. There he is, just being joined by another rider. But he's not letting up. And looking behind, uh, the bunch backs back together now. And we'll work our way back through the field. We could just see how much these riders have spread out over the two, two minutes, 49 seconds. I expect this race to be under 30 minutes. Schoolard, Davis, to keep working our way backwards. Nixon, we've seen already. Ware, McLaughlin. Samson, now moving into Katsi. Long Samson and Shannon been battling it out for... Uh, a few races this season. Reed haven't seen him race for a while. And Smith uh, noticed he 
just into the cusp of the GC challenge. Uh, one position ahead of the uh, cut for the plate. So he's done well to get in there, as is Al Watts. I don't know if he's racing tonight, but uh, two riders I wouldn't have expected to have been there based on their performance over the season so far, but nonetheless, there they are. And uh, Hindley and Campbell in Cat B. And Littlewood, Hindley, Campbell, Littlewood. They are losing touch with the Cat C group that you could see on screen just in front of them. So they either need to get on the wheel, close that gap, or they're going to get cast aside in this race. Hesham at uh, 2.8 kilometres, four minutes in, moving back through the field. Our national champion, Peter Jones. And let's see what's happening in Cat D. So Telford, it looks as if he is leading Category D at the moment. This is really the only hill, if you can call it that. Uh, sort of short, 4, 5, 6%. Come straight back down as the riders go around the uh, volcano. And behind him, Slipper. But he has this man right on his heel, Jones, and maybe not at full fitness, but he's a good, strong rider at times. But he knows what he's doing, so I think Jones will leave Slipper well behind. So we will come back to him a little bit later on. Move back as Albert May. Right next to Hesham. And Peter Jones is about 16 seconds further back. So that's another gap we will watch. And now moving towards the front of the field. And quickly, only just ahead of uh, Misham and May, but is that right? Yes, it is right at the moment. Now Campbell's actually, I think it's, I was going to say Campbell's moved back. I don't think that is the case. I think it's Smith moving forward along with Reed, Caught up now with uh, Littlewood and Campbell and Hindley. Someone needs to think about what they're up to here. It's not perhaps the best strategy, but there they are in quite a large group now of BCC riders in around uh, midfield as they come up around the volcano. McCrockland 31 seconds further ahead. And Jury, is that Katie or Mark? I think Mark Jury's riding, that's Katie. Six seconds further ahead of uh, McLaughlin, who we might be able to see coming around the corner there. No, not quite yet. So what Ware and Lancia. So how far away is Jury from Lancia? If I can click on Lancia, I will, but he keeps moving around. Well, same position. I don't think it will make same position in the field, I should say there's Jury. Bracky, Pedley, Martin Wales. Too much of a bunch at the moment to accurately report, but they're all up there in the group. I can see White as well. Davis, of course, Lancia is in the mix at six kilometres in, so they are on the first of four laps and will, in fact, shortly move to the second lap. That's Martin Wales leading the field, and no sooner had I said that, and he went from first to eighth to 28th. Now 32nd position. That just reflects this huge bunch of riders all s moving around, circulating nicely. 
some working exceptionally hard, others cruising a bit at the moment. Now 6.4 kilometers in, quarter of a way there. Might just go over 30 minutes actually, looking at that time. Just having a quick look to make sure everything's working. Right, has it settled down at all? A beaver, haven't seen him before. A oh, Wickham rider right next to him. I expect Weaver to put in a good uh, Weaver. Did I say Weaver? Beaver? I think I was thinking of Wickham and Beaver at the same time. I expect Beaver to put in a good uh, performance. Where is Charles? Haven't seen him for a while. Still, still difficult at this stage to track individual riders with them all rotating around so quickly. Becomes quite hard to click on them. Scott Rowland tried to click on him, missed him, missed him again. Anyone I can get really. There he is. Scott Rowland, uh, 145 in the heart rate. So he is working quite hard for a rider of his stature, 366 watts. Eight kilometers in into the second lap, I think. I'm just coming up actually. There is Charles, right next to Roland, in fact, along with Bracky, Davis, Beaver, all in this leading group. And um, there's just an indicator of the difference in speed between these groups. These This front bunch are at about eight and a half kilometers. So yeah, Cat D are around five kilometers at the moment. Oliver White uh, staying with this front bunch. I don't expect him to stay there, but it's a good effort from him so far. One or two riders dropping off the back on this slight incline up through. I wonder if that's the lap mark there. Anyway, one or two riders dropping off with up the slight incline. Lots of their uh, PRs coming out, so some of these riders are working pretty hard. Empson no longer in first place, but that's not a surprise really. Not commenting on his capability, just the fact that he's in this large group, which is beginning to thin slightly. And he's still in there. And it looked like a BCC rider on the back. Let's see if I can find out who that might be. Uh, Alan Nixon, by the looks of it. It's not going to let me get there. I might just... Who's that? Oh, no. There is Nixon. That's the rider I was looking for. It is him, in fact, sitting on the back of this large bunch. And uh, tactically, as a Cat C rider, uh, absolutely the best place for him. He is working hard, though, at uh, 200 and 300 watts. I can't remember his weight, but uh, that's probably close to the uh, cutoff point for Cat B. So... He's not hanging around, though a little bit more to give in the heart rate, I think. So he's settling into a good average heart rate. And uh, looks a bit more comfortable now that he's moving into that bunch of Empson alongside him. 
And the gap now from Smith in cat C to the leading bunch is, let's have a look, I think it's about 120, although Zwift is showing it as, let's see if we can work it out. Now I think the riders are overtaking each other. I think it's about 120, but we'll see. But the, so alongside Smith we have Reed, Quigley, and I think in there as well we have Littlewood, and that must mean Campbell, I suspect, and McLaughlin and Hindley are all there as well. Shannon, no great surprise, he's in that mix. Early days yet, but this is a short race and we are approaching the halfway mark. Samson haven't spotted him before. And May, I just saw go past on the screen, so I think the gap earlier between Jones and May is around 16 seconds. Let's just see if I can work out what it is now. Now that gap is increasing. There, there is Campbell. 154, 154, 154 in the heart. Cadence 83, that's about, uh, that's right on the money for him. Ten and a half kilometres, 15 minutes. Could make it under 30 minutes up the front. Let's have a look and see where they've got to. Martin Wales, Roland. That's Roland on screen now. Uh, Oliver White still hanging in there. But him like Nixon, although White is a Cat B rider, performing well. Can't actually find out Darren Charles and uh, Pedley and Dury. Lance here, Cat A for this race. I'm sure it's only 4 1 race. And there again. So this leading group at 12.4 kilometres, the Cat D riders at around 8 kilometres. There is White. Ah, oh, no heart rate on him. I hadn't noticed that before. Let's hope he, uh, in one sense, doesn't come in the first three, or he may get disqualified for that, or it may just not be working properly. Right, uh, Pedley and Bracky and Wales all up the front and again look at the size of this group in the aerial shot quite a significant number and if you watch the riders at the front they're constantly changing positions which is why it can be a little tricky to track them on screen but down at the back of the field, we have Telford at 10.1k now. Oh, back of the field's not fair, I should say, in category D. But I can't tell you who else is and where the other Cat D riders are at the moment until I work my way back through the field. 
Katie Jury, Ware, Charles, Empson, Davis, Bracky, Roland, Skula, White, all in this group. Charles as well. Nixon, ah. Nixon looks as if he has lost touch with that group. So that was a great performance. He held on to that for 14 kilometers. He is right next to Slipper at the moment, but uh, Slipper, in fact, just beginning to lose touch with uh, Nixon. But he is pushing 2.9 watts per kilo. Oh, he's gone down to 1.5. But Slipper is in Cat D and is, in fact, one whole lap behind Nixon. And if I was commiss commissaring for this race, I would disqualify him for uh, sitting on the wheel of a faster rider, giving himself an unfair advantage. But on Zwift, I don't think that happens. There is Rob Jones. Now, uh, I said he'd stay ahead of Slipper, but he is not. He is, in fact, about... Let's see if I can work it out. About just over half a kilometre behind. But I'm still supporting him. Hindley McLaughlin. And here we go into the first of the Cat C riders at the moment. I'm not quite sure. It could be Smith alongside Littlewood in this group with Misham, Reed, Sampson. Shannon's got to be in here. Shannon is in there. There is Shannon. I'll just have a quick look at Smith if I can find him again. May. Oh, lost him. Peter Jones at 13.4 kilometres, 20 minutes in. Go past the other Jones. So Empson, Campbell. This is quite an interesting race, actually, because there are some fast riders mixed in with some of the Cat C riders who clearly are performing well this evening. I'm not sure how much of, how much of this goes down to an increased speed from Cat C or slightly slower from Cat B or probably a bit of both. But once that gap's been created, unless you agree to work with a few other riders, it is very difficult to catch up again. There's Albert May off to the right of this bunch, just behind Smith and uh, Campbell Hindley just ahead. Right, straight back up to the front. I don't want to miss the end. And here we are. No great surprise. Jury and Davis up there, along with Roland. One more lap to go, Charles. It will be quite tricky if they stay together as a bunch, and right now I suspect they will. Ah, now what's going on here? Has Bracky made a bit of a break for it? Looks like it. This is a move he makes quite often. In fact, he has. He is now about 110 metres ahead of the chasing bunch. 16.9 kilometres to go in 22 minutes. Much as I'd like him to, I think it's unlikely that he's going to stay away from that bunch but on the incline put in another kick now and you might just hold on for a little longer in fact the bunch is now closing down to probably 60 meters as they enter the last lap so a brave effort from him maybe he's just trying to work out what he can do next time drifting back through the field now he'll uh, pick up Oh, get a bit of rest and look at all those PRs coming out for every rider in that bunch that's crossed the line. So first place now goes up to Oliver White still in there. Good performance from him as is Charles and uh, Barry Pedley who's currently in first position. Does he fancy a bit of an attack? No, he does not. Chris Brackey still watching him closely. Just wait until he recovers. I think he will go again. But will he beat Davis? Lance here. Nowhere to be seen at the moment. And uh, I would have thought this would be a course that would suit him quite well. It's 
virtually flat over four laps and 21 kilometers. Coming up for 18 kilometers, 23 and a half minutes, 93 meters of climbing completed. Only about another 20 meters to go. That is but a bump. Empson up towards the front again, as is Martin Wales, Beaver, Jury, all still together. Nothing to separate these riders. Looks as if Pedley has uh, moved up through the bunch. Jury sitting right in behind him, as is Bracky Davis. Lance has reappeared. White still there, Charles Wales. Nothing to call. If someone fancies a win, if they don't want to sprint it in a bunch sprint, they really do have to move now. Maybe the last time up this hill we'll see a bit of a change, a bit of a push from someone. 18.8k. And let me just check the total, 21.3 according to the information I have. But uh, sometimes, of course, as you know, that can be a little bit different from what I see. Beaver and School are in there, in this group as well. C. Empson. Pedley's now drifted towards the back of the field along with Wales. Moiré midfield. Looks as if Roland's gone up the front. In sixth place, Bracky. Ah, there's Bracky. 8.2 watts. He's tried it again. He is hungry for a win. He keeps pushing, keeps attacking. This is very much his style. But he's not getting away lightly. I'm not sure if it's the best strategy all the time. At uh, 9 watts per kilo, he's trying, though. On a downhill section as well. No, it didn't work. Has he got one more in him? Well, he's not giving up, that's for sure. But Pedley moves into the lead of the BCC riders. Pedley in first place. There's Burns. You don't know him, but just mentioned something on the comments in uh, the live stream. So deserves a mention nonetheless in this group as well. Jury, Lancia, Davis, Wales, all the usual suspects. Empson has held on. Wouldn't have expected him to hold on to the leading group through this, as has White. Maybe I haven't looked at his statistics recently, but... Uh, that surprises me. I'm just trying to keep an eye on what's going on in first place. If I can get there. Bracky, Bracky, going again. 10.3 watts per kilo. He really does fancy his chances this evening. But Beaver and Lancia are coming up behind quite rapidly. There, there are Beaver. There is. On screen, uh, this is with Lancia. Davis is having a go as well. It's a push to the top. Bracky is still in front, but I don't think he's going to stay there. Davis has just gone past Bracky, as has Lance here. It looks to be Davis at the moment. Davis followed by Lance here. David followed. Yes, Davis, then Lance here. Here they cross the line. Davis, Lance here. Beaver, Bracky. A Roland Bracky, perhaps that order, I think. And coming up just behind them, Empson Ware, White finish. Good ride from White and Jury crossing the line as well. And if I quickly pop back to the start of the field, what is now the new, sorry, the uh, front of the riders still on course. Campbell, Misham. It's a great ride from Mission by the looks of it. I think it's going to be Nixon next to cross the line. 
So stuck with that leading group for m half the race. Became isolated when he got dropped. Still staying ahead of quite a few Cat B riders though. May is uh, riding very well, only 10 seconds behind him. Smith, 9 seconds behind. So I would have expected Smith to be ahead quite a bit of distance ahead of May. But May looks to be really performing this evening. And there are the chasing riders behind Nixon now with just about a kilometre to go. It's entirely possible if they work together that that will, gap will be closed down. Looks as if Shannon has moved, moving up through the field. But uh, in Cat B, uh, McLaughlin, Campbell, Littlewood still there. But I'm going to ignore them for this, for the final part, and Hindley, for the um, final part of this race. But Nixon has a five-second gap on Smith. That's the view that Smith has of Nixon ahead, under one kilometre to go according to my information, and that gap is closing. And I think I saw Misham up there as well. And Samson. So it's uh, it's just in the group. I want to see what's happening to Nixon. I think he's going to get caught. Campbell is one second behind and closing. And Nixon gets consumed by the bunch. Unfortunately, was not able to hold it off. And now they start to wind it up a bit. Chris Reed at the moment. Anyone ahead of him? Not that I can see. Looks to be Reed, McLaughlin, Hindley, Littlewood. McLaughlin moves into the lead. McLaughlin, Littlewood. Still McLaughlin. McLaughlin up out of the saddle. 8.5 watts per kilo. He's not letting anyone catch him. But a great performance from Smith at 8.5. 9.5 watts per kilo. Smith moves into the lead ahead of Cat, uh, the Cat B rider McLaughlin, Littlewood and Campbell. A great race from him. That's a tactic that seemed to work well on lots of PRs coming out there tonight. And Shannon was, I think, four seconds behind. Maybe not, but uh, Misham. In 34 minutes. Great, ri great ride. Some great riding this evening. Have to pop back to uh, me sitting on the start line to see if I can find anyone else. So plenty of riders still on course. And one of them there is uh, Peter Jones, twenty point four k. I don't think. There was anyone else ahead of him So from BCC. So by the looks of it, next BCC rider Cat C will be Peter Jones. With under one kilometre to go. And to round up the remaining riders... We have Rob Jones at 15.5k. Good heart rate for him there. He's pushing, pushing nicely. Peter Jones we've seen. Oh, Telford and Slipper who I was looking for. So Telford at 17.4k. Uh, Slipper... 27 seconds behind at 17.1 so they have one more lap to go I won't follow that to the end and then Jones will be the final rider and we shall leave the racing for tonight having a look at Jones see you all on Thursday thank you all for watching